Ezra 1 through 3. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, in order to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah, the Lord moved the heart of Cyrus, king of Persia, to make a proclamation throughout his realm and also to put it in writing. This is what Cyrus, king of Persia, says. The Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth and has appointed me to build a temple for him at Jerusalem in Judah. Any of his people among you may go up to Jerusalem in Judah and build the temple of the Lord, the God of Israel, the God who is in Jerusalem, and may their God be with them. And in any locality where survivors may now be living, the people are to provide them with silver and gold, with goods and livestock, and with free will offerings for the temple of God in Jerusalem. Then the family heads of Judah and Benjamin, and the priests and Levites, everyone whose heart, had, whose heart God had moved, prepared to go up and build the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. All their neighbors assisted them, with articles of silver and gold, with goods and livestock, and with valuable gifts in addition to all the free will offerings. Moreover, King Cyrus brought out the articles belonging to the temple of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar had carried away from Jerusalem and had placed in the temple of his God. Cyrus, king of Persia, had them brought by Mithridath, the treasurer, who counted them out to Sheshbazar, the prince of Judah. This was the inventory. Gold dishes, 30. Silver dishes, 1,000. Silver pans, 29. Gold bowls, 30. Matching silver bowls, 410. Other articles, 1,000. In all, there were 5,400 articles of gold and of silver. Sheshbazar brought all these along with the exiles when they came up from Babylon to Jerusalem. Ezra 2 Now these are the people of the province who came up from the captivity of the exiles, whom Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had taken captive to Babylon. They returned to Jerusalem and Judah each to their own town, in company with Zerubbabel, Joshua, Nehemiah, Sariah, Rileah, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mizpar, Bigvai, Rehum, and Bana. The list of the men of the people of Israel. The descendants of Parash, 2,172, of Shephatiah, 372, of Ara, 775, of Pehath Moab, through the line of Jeshua and Joab, 2,812, of Elam, 1,254, of Zatu, 945 of Zakai, 760 of Benai, 642 of Bebai, 623 of Asgad, 1222 of Adonikam, 666 of Bigvai. 2056 of Aden 454 of Ater through Hezekiah 98 of Bizai 323 of Jorah 112 of Hashum 223 of Gebar 95 the men of Bethlehem of Netopha, the men of Bethlehem, 123, of Netopha, 56, of Anathoth, 128, 
of Asmaveth, 42, of Kiriath Jerim, 743, of Kephira and Birath, 743, of Rama and Geba, 621, of Michmash, 122, of Bethel and Ai, 223, of Nebo, 52, of Magbish, 156, of other Elam, 1,254, of Harim, 320, of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 725, of Jericho, 345, of Sina, 3,630. The priests, the descendants of Jedea, through the family of Jeshua, 973, of Emir, 1,052, of Pashur, 1,247, of Harim, 1,017, the Levites, the descendants of Jeshua and Kadmiel, of the line of Hodavia, 74, the musicians, of the descendants of Asaph, 128, the gatekeepers of the temple, the descendants of Shalom, Atir, Talman, Akub, Hatita, and Shobai, 139, the temple servants, the descendants of Ziha, Hasufa, Tabaoth, Keros, Siaha, Padan, Labana, Hagaba, Hakub, Hagab, Shalmai, Hanan, Gidel, Gehar, Riaya, Raisin, Nikoda, Gazam, Uza, Pasia, Besei, Asnan, Meunim, Nefusim, Babuk, Hakufa, Harher, Basluth, Mahida, Harsha, Barkos, Sisera, Tama, Neziah, and Hatipa, the descendants of the servants of Solomon, the descendants of Sotai, Hasophereth, Peruda, Jala, Darkon, Gedel, Shephetiah, Hatil, Pokereth, and Pokereth Hazabim, and Ami, the temple servants, and the descendants of the servants of Solomon, 392. The following came up from the towns of Tel Mela, Tel Harsha, Kirab, Adan, and Emir, but they could not show that their families were descended from Israel. The descendants of Delea, Tobiah, and Nicoda, 652, and from among the priests, the descendants of Hobea, Hekaz, and Barzillai, a man who had married a daughter of Barzillai, the, the Gileadite, and who was called by that name. These searched for their family records, but they could not find them, and so were excluded from the priesthood as unclean. The governor ordered them not to eat any of the most sacred food until there was a priest ministering with the Urim and Thummim. The whole company numbered 42,360, besides their 7,337 male and female slaves, 
and they also had 200 male and female singers. They had 736 horses, 245 mules, 435 camels, and 6,720 donkeys. When they arrived at the house of the Lord in Jerusalem, some of the heads of the families gave freewill offerings toward the rebuilding of the house of God on its site. According to their ability, they gave to the treasury for this work 61,000 derricks of gold, 5,000 minas of silver, and 100 priestly garments. The priests, the Levites, the musicians, the gatekeepers, and the temple servants settled in their own towns along with some of the other people, and the rest of the Israelites settled in their towns. Ezra 3 When the seventh month came, and the Israelites had settled in their towns, the people assembled together as one in Jerusalem. Then Joshua, son of Jozadak, and his fellow priests, and Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, and his associates, began to build the altar of the God of Israel, to sacrifice burnt offerings on it in accordance with what is written in the law of Moses, the man of God. Despite their fear of the peoples around them, they built the altar on its foundation and sacrificed burnt offerings on it to the Lord, both the morning and evening sacrifices. Then, in accordance with what is written, they celebrated the festival of tabernacles with the, requirement, with the required number of burnt offerings prescribed for each day. After that, they presented the regular burnt offerings, the new moon sacrifices, and the sacrifices for all the appointed sacred festivals of the Lord, as well as those brought as free will offerings to the Lord. On the first day of the seventh month, they began to offer burnt offerings to the Lord, though the foundation of the Lord's temple had not yet been laid. Then they gave money to the masons and carpenters, and gave food and drink and olive oil to the peoples of Sidon and Tyre, so that they would bring cedar logs by sea from Lebanon to Joppa as authorized by Cyrus, king of, Persian, king of Persia. In the second month of the second year after their arrival at the house of God in Jerusalem, Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, Joshua, son of Jozadak, and the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, and all who ha had returned from the captivity to Jerusalem, began to work. They appointed Levites twenty years old and older to supervise the building of the house of the Lord. Joshua and his sons and brothers, and Cadmiel and his sons, des descendants of Hadaviah, and the sons of Henadad, and their sons and brothers, all Levites, joined together in supervising those working on the house of God. When the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, the priests in their vestments and trumpets and Levites, the sons of Asaph, with cymbals, took their places to praise the Lord as prescribed by David, king of Israel. With praise and thanksgiving, they sang to the Lord, he is good. His love toward Israel endures forever. And all the people gave a great shout of praise to the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. But many of the older priests and Levites and family heads who had seen the former temple wept aloud when they saw the foundation of this temple being laid. While many others shouted for joy, no one could distinguish the sound of the shouts of joy from the sound of weeping, because the people made so much noise, and the sound was heard far away.